class 10 now we are going to start with the reading of the chapter wali writes the first who is this young girl wali wali was a young girl of 8 years right so what she has planned she has planned to undertake a bus journey why because it shows or the chapter or the story depicts the fantasy life of a girl. She was fantasized towards the bus service which is being driven from her street to the town. She has never got any, you can say, chance to ride a bus. She has never boarded a bus. So what she wanted, she wanted to board the bus and ultimately wanted to go to town. So we have, we have read the day before that how she has gathered the complete information about the bus. Then we have also come to know how she collected money in order to board the bus. And finally, after boarding the bus, different type of people she came in contact. So we have read yesterday that first of all, she has come in contact with an old man who was much worried about her wellness. He told her not to stand, but she least bothered. Actually, she wanted to see the scenes outside, okay? How it looked like. Then she also encountered an old woman who was chewing beetle. She was annoyed with that woman as her earlobes were quite large. And ultimately, beetle juice, it was spilling out of her lips. It was really, she was really disinterested in that woman and never wanted to look at her and never wanted she should sit with her, right? Now, finally, after that, we are coming to the third passage. Now, what happened? Let us see. Students are still answering. Fine. Now, her first journey, what careful, painstaking, elaborate plan she had made she had had to make for it. So now, what war, what kind of journey she had for the first time? It was really planned one. No doubt it was planned one because she has gathered ample information from the neighbors as well as from the people in the street who are going to the town. She has collected that information, painstaking. She has taken pains in order to collect the information and ultimately, she has also made elaborate plans for it. Elaborate plans were made by her and she had thriftily saved whatever stray coins come her way. Thriftily. Thriftily means to spend money carefully. Okay. So what she has done, whatever coins they are coming to her way, she was thriftily means very carefully. She was saving that money resisting every temptation to buy peppermints, toys, balloons and the like and finally she had saved a total of 60 pesos. She was avoiding any kind of temptation. For example, she was attracted towards peppermints, she was tempted towards sweets. No, she was making her mind, no, I don't want to eat that because I have to save money. That means that she was quite focused towards her aim also that they, yes, I have to take on my journey. And finally, what has happened? She has finally gathered those 60 passive. That was not so big amount. But for Wally, it was really a big amount. It cost her a fortune. So, how difficult it had been. Of course, it had really been difficult for her. Particularly that day at the village fair. But she had resolutely stifled. Stifled means controlled. Okay, stifled a strong desire to ride the merry-go-round, even though she had the money. So it was not so difficult for her, but otherwise when she has gone to fair means it's really very difficult to control her temptation. But still she did. She controlled her temptation and saved the money, although her heart was again and again, you can say tempting her towards going to have a ride in the merry-go-round, but still she controlled her desire. After she had enough money saved, her next problem was how to slip out of the house without her mother's knowledge. So 
after she had enough money saved so when she had enough money saved what was her next problem it was the next problem is that how to slip out of the house when her mother is not noticing her so she managed this without too much difficulty it was not so difficult for her she has managed it with ease how every day after lunch her mother would nap for about one or four or so so after lunch her mother used to take nap in the afternoon and she has chosen that time that she thought that this is the perfect time when i should not be noticed by my mother i need not to take permission from my mother and i can go out for my i can go out for my walk for my journey so she, that, that was not so big difficulty for her every day after lunch when she was taking nap she has chosen that time wali always used these hours for her excursions excursions mean enjoyable you can say wandering she is often going out of the house during that time and before her mother could be awake she was coming back very clever girl she was as she stood looking from the doorway of her house or sometimes even ventured out into the village today these same hours could be used for her first excursion outside the village and it is during that time also she is going inside the village she is talking to all the persons or wanted to see whatever she wanted and yes today she has of course joined that or she has chosen those uh, timings of course same as she has chosen the bus rolled on now cutting across a bare landscape now rushing through a tiny hamlet or past an old or wayside shop so now the bus now again the writer has explained a bit about her background how she collected money okay so now coming on to the next page yes so now again she has boarded the bus now he is explaining that what is happening outside the bus rolled on cutting a bare landscape yes the bus is moving past and the lane landscape is cutting side by side she is moving on to the next one now rushing through a tiny hamlet hamlet means it is a small settlement even smaller than that of a village means group of houses only it has passed to or through an hamlet and ultimately some old wayside shop means some at some times on the road side there are one or two shops he is talking about that sometimes the bus seemed on the point of gobbling up another vehicle that was coming towards them or a pedestrian crossing the road sometimes gobbling up means the bus is immediately cutting its way sometimes the other vehicle is coming towards them and it is coming on the other side or sometimes it is also crossing the pedestrian means the person who is walking by foot in order to cross the road but lo what happened somehow it passed on smoothly leaving all obstacles safely behind now but the bus driver was so you can say perfect in driving that it was leaving all obstacles behind trees came running towards them but then stopped as the bus reached them and simply stood there I means this is the scene trees came running means it seemed that trees were running towards them but when the bus stopped the trees were still at their own place and helpless for a moment by the side of the road before rushing away in the other direction so when the bus moves what it happens the trees they move in the opposite direction this you know so suddenly wali clapped her hands with glee glee means happiness suddenly she started clapping her hands with happiness a young cow tall high in the air so is that young cow tall high in the air was running very fast right in the middle of the road a cow came and she was running in the middle of the road and looking at that cow wali was excited she was clapping her hands with happiness the bus slowed to a crawl naturally what would be the reaction of the bus the bus slowed down a bit and the driver sounded his horn loudly again and again naturally when an animal comes in front of your vehicle or your convince what you have to do you have to honk your horn so that the animal would catch notice of it and get a sight of it so the driver was honking the horn but more he honked the more frightened the animal became and faster it galloped galloped means that jumped always right in front of the bus but the more the driver was honking the horn the more this animal was frightened and was coming in front of the 
bus what happened that it came in front of the bus somehow this was very funny to wally but somehow what happened this was really funny to wally wally has never seen it and when the for the first time she has seen it she was quite excited that what has happened so so she laughed and laughed until there were tears in her eyes she was laughing again and again there were tears in her eyes by laughing hey lady haven't you laughed enough call the conductor better save some for tomorrow now conductor also got irritated he said ma'am don't you think that you have laughed enough save something for tomorrow apni hansi kal ke liye bhi bacha ke rakhi hai now at last the cow moved off the road now cow moved to a side and soon the bus came to a railroad crossing now there was a railroad crossing and the bus came there a speck of a train could be seen in the distance speck means very small point you know point objects when they are a very far distance so a speck of a train a very small point of a train could be seen from the distance and as soon as the train is coming towards them it is growing bigger and bigger then it rushed past the crossing gate with a tremendous roar and rattle roar and rattle means too much sound you know when the train is crossing uh crossing anywhere it is producing a lot of, a lot of sound so what happened it produced a roar tremendous means huge amount of roar and rattle shaking the bus and naturally because this is such a large you can say uh such a large you can say machine that it produces a lot of noise and because of this vibrations are also produced so these vibrations produced they have even can could be heard and could be felt in the bus also then the bus went on and passed on the train station bus passed on when the train passed and finally that train station was also crossed from there it traversed traversed meant it crossed a busy well laid out shopping street <coughs> sorry and turning and entered a wider thoroughfare thoroughfare means uh, the common place from where people could pass public place so then the bus passed on a busy street then it crossed a thoroughfare means most of the you can say haunting place of the people or most uh, you can say commonly used place by the people and such big bright looking shops you can imagine that how in bazaars those things are displayed all the shopkeepers they have displayed best and the brighter color things outside so that the customers can be attracted towards them and could enter the shop and buy something strategy for shops uh, this is the shopkeeper strategy so ultimately what has happened all the th beautiful things bright colored things they were displayed outside what glittering displays of clothes and other merchandise such big crowds so what beautiful how beautifully the things were displayed merchandise means those things to be sold and such big crowds people they have gathered in crowds who have come from far and off villages in order to shop there to get the day things of daily need struck dumb with wonder he was surprised she has never seen such a you can say group uh, large group of people there wali gaped at everything with gaped means with mouth wide open in surprise she was looking at all those things then the bus stopped and everyone got up except wali everyone now he has got off from the bus hey lady aren't you ready to get off this is as far as your 30 paise takes you now conductor all the passengers have got off from the bus now the conductor has also asked wali what he has said he said ma'am don't you think that your 30 paise has brought you here now it's time to come uh, to go out of the bus no finally no i'm going back on this same bus she took another 30 paise from her pocket handed the coins to the conductor so she said no 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 i'm not getting off from the bus actually i'm going back in the same bus now she knew that the ticket has to be purchased so she took out another 30 paise handed it to the conductor and said this these are my 30 paise give me ticket for the uh, give me the return ticket so that i can go back in the same bus why is something the matter conductor surprise she has come she has not got up still she wanted to return said anything wrong or something happened no 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 nothing's the matter i just felt like having a bus ride that's all she said no 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 nothing is there actually i wanted to have this bus ride 
and i have come here this is the only reason all by myself she is all alone she is saying i would be much too afraid next she said otherwise i would be afraid and this is the reason why i have come all alone great amused by the girl's way of speaking very mature talking she had conductor was amused surprised but you were not afraid to come to the bus she said you are not afraid to come to the bus if you are afraid to go outside the bus aren't you afraid to go into the bus she said nothing to be afraid of about that she said afraid afraid of what nothing to be afraid of that i'm not at all afraid well then why not go to that stall over there and have something to drink he said okay then why don't you go there and have something to drink nothing to be afraid about that either he said you can go there and have something to eat there is nothing to be afraid there oh no i couldn't do that she said no no i couldn't do that i couldn't go there well then let me bring you a cold drink conductor thought that she might be reluctant to get anything because she might not have money simmer please i don't know what is happening you are leaning and rendering again and again so maybe conductor thought that she don't she is not having enough money and this is the reason why she is not purchasing anything she said okay don't worry i'll bring something for you no 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 i don't have enough money just give me a ticket that's all she said i don't have enough money you just give me ticket and this is all i want it will be my treat and not cost you anything her doctor now very getting very lenient and very helpful he what he said he said don't worry you need not to pay me back just consider it a treat from my side no 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 please no wali said no i don't conductor shrugged he shrugged his shoulders in this manner he said okay it's up to you and they waited until it was time for the bus to begin return journey again and there weren't many passengers now the bus again as i told you in the starting that it was the slack time of the day because it was the slack time of the day now the bus has started its back journey also no it was the time for the bus to return back so now let us see what will happen okay so it was it, uh, it was spent quite happily her first journey first half of the journey when she has gone to the village won't your mother be looking for you the conductor asked when he gave the girl her ticket now conductor points the ticket she has given it to wali and asked your mother was not worrying about you hasn't she looking for you as you have come here no no one will be looking for me again confident she said no 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 one will be looking for me now the bus started and again there were the same wonderful sights she was again fascinated by those wonderful sights on the way but not every time it is the same see wali was not bored in the slightest and greeted everything with the same excitement she had felt the first time she was not at all bored of the sights being repeated and she was excitedly she was looking at all the sights being passed as she was so excited in her first journey but suddenly she saw a young cow lying ahead lying dead by the road side but then what she has seen that the same cow which was galloping in front of her in front of the bus during her first journey the same cow was lying down it was dead now see what will happen it was dead and just where it had been struck by some fast moving vehicle why this cow was lying dead because it had been struck with by you can say some you can say vehicle heavy moving vehicle which must have hit that you can say animal and the animal was dead isn't that the same cow that ran in front of the bus on a trip to town she asked the conductor now very curious she was she asked the conductor this is not the same cow which had been moving in front of bus when we were going conductor nodded the conductor was also deeply feeling sad for the same animal and he just moved his head in this manner yes this is the same animal she was overcome with sadness wali was also filled with sadness 
what had been a lovable beautiful creature just a while ago had now suddenly lost its charm and its life and looked so horrible so frightening as it lay there legs spread wiggles means spread out white a fixed stare eyes open looking particularly at one point in its lifeless eyes and blood all over so now the animal which was very you can say attractive at one time now it is just looking very frightening legs wide open body stiff with eyes wide open looking at one particular angle and another person could feel horrible for the animal the bus moved on memory of the dead cow haunted her now this memory of the dead cow it was haunting her dampening her enthusiasm phrase used here dampening means moistening her enthusiasm when uh, enthusiasm means it is decreasing she no longer wanted to look out of the window she now not did not want to look out of the window she sat thus glued to her seat she was now sitting fixed to her seat until the bus reached the village at 3:40 so finally she where she reached the village she reached at 3:40 she stood up she stood up stretched herself then she turned to the conductor and said well sir i hope to see you again she stood up from her seat saying conductor okay fine now i'm going hope to see you again okay madam he answered smiling whenever you feel like a bus ride come and join us and don't forget to bring your fare now conductor said yes yes ma'am any time whenever you feel to have like to have a bus ride you can come here but don't forget to bring your fare she laughed and jumped down from the bus she gave a smile and jumped down from the bus then away she went running straight for home from the bus directly she has gone to her home to her house when she entered her house she found her another she found her mother awake and talking to one of wali's aunts so when she has entered the house what she has found that her aunt was sitting uh, along with her mother and they both were gossiping and the one from the south street who's that aunt she was from the south street and that means the street in the village this aunt was a real chatterbox you know what is a chatterbox the person who talks a lot so she was really a chatterbox mia 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 this thing that thing she is always talking never closing her mouth once she started talk, talking means after one thing she is speaking about another and continuously she is giving you can say she is speaking a string of incidents wali is really irritated of her and where have you been said her aunt when wali came in and she asked wali where were you she spoke very casually not expecting a reply so wali just smiled and her mother and aunt went on with their conversation she smiled and said something the least bothered and finally they carried on their own conversation yes you are right so many things in our midst and in the world outside how can we possibly know about everything now this is in context to what is happening around that means they are just discussing their conversation it was a part of the sentence which about the conversation which they were discussing but it is quite appropriate to this situation what her mother said yes there are so many things happening around us and we don't do come to know about many things what is happening around us and even when we do know about something we often can't understand it completely can we and sometimes she says she said that if a, if anything happens in front of us sometimes we don't understand it what has happened now wali very you can say eager to answer oh yes she said yes now aunt got irritated what what's that you say mother said what's that you said how you come to know what we are discussing oh i was just agreeing with what you said about things happening without our knowledge so she is pertaining to the thing that she has gone out of the house without her knowledge she said actually i'm talking about the thing that many things are happen without our knowledge and see what her aunt said just a chit of a girl and you look how she pokes her nose into our conversation she is she is such a young girl poking her nose mean interfering our conversation how she is interfering our conversation without any knowledge just as though she were a grown up lady and like she is talking about like she is a grown up lady she need not to speak like that wali smiled to herself 
she didn't want them to understand her smile but then there was much chance of that was there she never wanted to let them know that she has gone to the town she has enjoyed her ride and finally she has come back so see how clever a child can be how you can say deep planning the child can have this is what wali had she had a very deep planning about going to the town without the knowledge of her mother she was very confident that her mother is taking a nap during the time and that is the perfect time to go and she has managed the time also that i can go at that time come back at that time that would be the perfect matching and she would never be noticed by anyone this is what she has done right so you never know the mind you never know the extremities of one's mind how deep a person can go this is a child and you never think you ever think this is the innocent world of a child in innocence she has done uh, she has taken a big decision but it can be there that some mishap can be there while she's returning from back from the town anything has happened and parents must be looking for her so multiple messages the writer is delivering us net not to be so confident that you are not afraid of doing anything wrong not to be so you can say confident that you are not informing your parents whatever you are going to do although it just shows the innocent world of a child but sometimes this innocence it can be very you can say drastic it can be very you can say causing a lot of you can say problem for oneself for every you can say wrong thing or for everything that you have done innocence is not the only answer and this is what this is what has happened with what it means that she seems to be a girl of 8 years but she was quite mature than of her age right so this is all about the chapter madam rides the bus how she rides the bus how what kind of pains taking journey it was what tailor made plan she had in her mind to collect the money how she gathered money how she stifled her desires and ultimately she came out with those 60 paise that were required for enjoying that bus ride and now afterwards we are going to discuss the question answers tomorrow of this chapter so that's all for today